All right, guys. I've been uh, I've been trying to, or I've been thinking about doing this for a while here, which is to do a live uh, uh, demonstration here of popping the electrolyte out of the mold. Uh, we'll see uh, how long it takes. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But uh, here, let's go ahead. So I'm going to start off just by uh, trimming the fiberglass tape that's holding the left left and right sides of the fuse together. Usually start off by Removing these little pieces here. I laid this up, uh, uh, well, I joined it probably about 12 hours ago. So it's uh, it's definitely set up enough that we can pop it out. The, the fuselage halves were done um, longer. So we're talking uh, probably about almost, almost 24 hours ago, maybe a little less, since the fuselage halves were laid up. We got that. So next step, move all the clamps. Got my rubber mallet here. Just gonna tap away. Let's see if I can pull the pins out here. So when I start tapping every once in a while, you'll hear a slightly different sound and that's the, the sound of the actual part releasing from the mold. There's one. This is why I make the molds nice and thick so that it can handle uh, the stresses of, of this step here. But it's kind of a necessary evil. Okay. No pain inside here, so that's good. Good. First side. There we go. Now let's see about the second. This is the tougher side. Now sometimes I'll just kind of just kind of twist it a little bit. Because that's necessary. Just gonna take my time working it out. This this particular uh, fuselage is there's no negative draft angles, but they're pretty tight right in the wing saddle area. So you can see here. You can see here the seam. I'm slowly, I'm slowly working it out, and it's coming. Just, just be patient. It'll, it'll pop out.
here. This one feels pretty light. Um, so here we got a little flash in here. I got to clean that up. I got a slight little bit here. It's not a it's not a pocket, but it looks like looks like the primer just kind of stayed in the mold, but it it feels smooth. Um, and uh, uh, next step after that, I would just kind of clean the flashing off. Just go around the perimeter. No big deal. Here's a Kevlar hatch that I laid up yesterday, or popped out yesterday, and uh, there you have it.